Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a special steampunk episode which was created in cooperation with my friends and great artists. Be sure to visit all the channels to see their wonderful work. Links to their channels are in the description below. I love challenges! Approaching the topic ambitiously, I decided to do Vi from the game League of Legends. For my project I used the Ever After High doll, that's why I started with reducing her head. I wanted her to look more realistic. For this purpose we will need a small jar and pure acetone. The head is immersed in acetone, ensuring that acetone also gets inside the head. Close the jar and leave it for about 20 hours. After this time the head will be greatly enlarged and super soft. Carefully pull the head out of the jar. When the acetone evaporates, the head will be shrink and become hard. I use synthetic hair. The process of reducing the head caused that the head become much harder than I thought. Unfortunately, it made the root process difficult. Before the repaint, the head should be thoroughly washed, dried and sprayed with a fixative. After waiting until MSC absorbs well, we can start drawing her face. V has blue eyes and pink makeup, that's why I mainly use color pencils in white, black, dark brown, blue and pink in various shades. Using MSC is the kind of saving changes. After every use you should wait for the fixative to absorb well. Corset, paper and glue method. This is my favorite method because you can do miracles from small elements through shoes and other items of clothing. At the beginning I wrapped the doll with foot foil. 
I put glue on the hole to which I glue the finely cut sheets. I also apply a layer of glue on them. I rub the hole with a mesh and I repeat the process one or two more times. When the corset is dry, I cut it along back line and carefully pull it off. I cut the edges. On the corset I have prepared, I can do some more modifications. When it's well dried, I smooth it with a mini tool. It's time to make some holes in the tights I made earlier. On the top I stick trimmed pieces of echo letter, lens and decorative buckles. I serve jacket and shorts from synthetic leather, tinted with dry pastels and fixed with hairspray. Cover it as before, varnish with a touch of shiny pollen. I use pre-made boots, I put the foam on them and painted it as before. For a long time I thought about how to make a glove which will be movable, but at the same time light. I also wanted it to be removable. Sitting and wondering about this issue, I sipped water and suddenly it came to me. Drink a lot of water, it has a positive effect on our entire body. It is proven that adequate hydration helps to concentrate. <laughs> so I came up with the idea that I would use it literally. I decided to do it from the bottle I was drinking from. I glued a cut to the foam. This foam has been with me for a long time. Since my friend Delightful show how beautiful she made the whole armor. For which I thank you so much. Foam can be greatly modified when heated up. You can make various holes using heated metal.
I painted the hole with a decorative varnish in silver and gold. The mine structure is based on the stopper of the bottle from the water bottle. fingers and other convex elements I made from their foam cartridges. I painted it as before. For shading, I use dry pastels. I spray it with hairspray. When it dried up, I secured it with shiny varnish with a touch of shiny pollen. I use the phone to make other elements of the armor as well. If you like my work, please don't forget to click like and share to support my work. Subscribe if you haven't already 
and click that little notification bell to never miss a video. I am very happy how my Vi came out. I really like her gloves. Write in a comment what you liked and what you would like me to improve. And now, go! See the rest of the dolls. Links to my friend's work are in the description below. I'd like to thank all my friends for great fun. It was, as always, a great pleasure and honor to be working with you. Also, many thanks to my Patreons.